Hey guys, Danielle here. Today we are doing our first ever tech talk. Now this is like a new series on my channel where I just talk about like all things like super technical about YouTube. So like filming, how you make plugins, which is today's video. So if you guys want to see more tech talk videos, be sure to give this a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below so you guys can obviously see more of me. But today we are going to focus on plugins. Now this is how I make plugins. You can also buy plugins. I will have links below where I buy my plugins as well. And I also have my first tech talk video is how I uh, edit film and like all everything about like my videos how I upload and things like that so if you want to see that I will have that link down below as well because that's actually like a pretty common question for me and that's why I kind of wanted to start this series because you guys are constantly asking me about like all the things about YouTube and how I film and all this tech stuff so I am starting this tech talk series I think it's gonna be so fun like if you guys don't know like I'm actually kind of like a super like a techie person and I really love like learning like new things especially with computers I think it's just so fun so if you guys want to know how to make plugins then just keep watching all right guys, so to get started, first you're gonna pick out your clip that you wanna use and also you need to decide what plugin that you think would be great for the clip. So for this one, I chose to do a thumbs up emoji. So I'm gonna to go to Google, I'm gonna type up thumbs up emoji and I'm gonna put PNG. It's very important that you put PMG because that means that the background will be transparent and it won't be white and it won't affect any of your videos. I'm gonna choose this thumbs up. I think it's pretty cool because one, it has the white outer glow around it and it also has a drop shadow already done for me. So that is less work that I have to do. So I am going to drag it to the desktop and once I have it on my desktop I'm going to drag it into my Final Cut Pro. Now moving it into Final Cut Pro it is super huge on the screen so the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that I scale it. Personally I like mine a little rotated just to like interact with it more. I think it's more like I don't know edgy and a little bit more personal. So we're going to move it on the screen to where I want it to be. I like it in the top like upper left hand corner just so it's not blocking my face or anything like that. The next step to make this plugin look super professional is to add a transition on how it's going to make its way into the screen. I chose to use the slide in. I really like the slide in. It's very versatile, so I want to make sure that it slides in and the direction is right. And then when it slides out, I want the direction to be left. It's very important that you select that, otherwise the transition just won't work properly. So this is what it looks like right now. It's just sliding in and out. So the last thing that we are going to do to really amp up this effect is we are going to add sound to it. Adding sound to it makes this so much better, so I chose to use a swoosh sound. I downloaded my sound from Google I will be sure to link mine down below I just downloaded it to my computer the most important thing about the sound is that you want it perfect with the timing so what I mean by that is that when you have your sound effect going you want it to be going with the movement of your clip if it's not with the movement of your clip it's just not gonna sound right so definitely take your time and make sure that the sound is perfect with the timing and then that is all you really have to do to make a custom plugin I make plugins like this all the time especially like my subscribe button that I always have in my videos or any of my like notification bells or questions that I ask during my videos, any of the pop-ups on my screen, this is how I make my plugins. So highly requested from the last video. So I'm so excited to be showing you guys my like packed like routine that I have down. Like I can get it done in like five minutes. All right guys, so if you love the video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Tell me what videos you guys want to see next, whether it's for like fall or any tech talks that you want to see. But guys, it's almost fall and I love fall. Like fall is my favorite season and I'm so excited to be doing videos. So I just need like a little bit of video inspo to see what you guys want to see. But while you're down there, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see more of me and join my little family. Also, turn the notifications on so you guys know like every single time that I upload and if you want to see like a lot more of me be sure to follow me on all my social media that will be down below as well but thank you guys so much for watching bye